Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we have a video from my favourite retard Steve Shives. It's five things. Well, another one of his five things. Let's just dive right in. Not every argument is valid. Not every position is reasonable. Not every proposition deserves to be debated. Describing your own movement there? No. Everything deserves to be debated. Everything deserves to be criticized. Everything deserves to be analyzed, criticized, condemned, and scrutinized. Everything deserves to be. So just because you can't handle these things doesn't mean the rest of us grown ups can't. No? Let's see what else you've got to say about this, Steve. Why do I have to spell this out? Here are five unstable things about the balance fallacy. Wow, Steve, you're going to educate us about the balance fallacy. Fantastic. I'm looking forward to this one. Let's dive right in, my man. Number one, it polarizes discourse. The balance fallacy is what we call it when two sides of an argument are treated as having equal value regardless of context or merit. It's also sometimes called the appeal to moderation, which can be ironic given the fact that often people who are making the appeal are anything but a moderating influence on the discord. You better not be fucking packing on people like me who sit in the center and look at both sides of people's arguments and then make a valid and educated decision on how to comment reply or whether to support or denounce said opinion or idea please tell me you're not going to try and pack on people like me because you're going to open up a whole new can of worms here steve and when you start to make it real real personal about your you know i said no never mind I made it kind of personal long ago when I thought you were a fucking retarded cunt whose balls were in his missus handbag and couldn't be confused with a book for a start because a book has a spine um, which you obviously don't and obviously judging by the way you are going on about this now it basically suggests to me that somebody fucking lobotomized you I'm guessing it was your missus. I take it you're one of those ones, happy wife, happy life, so because you have no hope of meeting anyone else in the future, especially now, um, you're kind of stuck in the relationship with your wife. And because you're kind of pathetic these days, everybody sees that you're pathetic, there's no opportunity for you to actually get a new partner. So, I take it that's why you're doing all this. But anyway, that's, that's getting off point. That's just a personalized view of how you are. But anyway, let's continue. Let's imagine a hypothetical confrontation between, oh, I don't know, a group of organized white supremacists carrying Nazi flags and a group of anti-racist counter-protesters, just to pluck a totally random example out of thin air. During a discussion about this confrontation, some people side with the counter-protesters, some people side with the Nazis, they're off the Christmas card list, but some people come down in the middle, and these folks in the middle, they say things like, oh, certainly we don't support the Nazis, those guys are just the worst, but let's not forget about some of those protesters, they were pretty aggressive. And the Nazis did have a permit to be there, after all. Did the protesters have a permit? Well, you had the nail on the head there, you motherfucking prick. Did they have a permit to show up? Some say they did, some say they didn't. I personally couldn't care less if they did or not. This is what you do, Steve. You lump everybody in on a dissenting idea with Nazis, white supremacists, and all the rest of that fucking bullshit that you come away with being a retarded motherfucking loser. Right? 
who gets his kicks off of playing with a stuffed dog and talking to his cat. I fucking hate cats. Steve, you are really pushing your fucking luck. Right? I mean, people... I mean, you're, you're lumping people like me in with Nazis. I am not a fucking Nazi. I am not a white supremacist. And if you lump me in with that, I will sue you for defamation of character, you fucking dickhead. Just because people don't agree with what you say doesn't make them white supremacists, Nazis, bigots, or any other fucking word that you use to describe people who have an opposing view to you. You arrogant, self-absorbed, self-obsessed cum nugget. Hmm. You are an asshole, Steve Shives. You are a weak-willed, limp-wristed, fucking pathetic excuse for a man. And I'm pretty sure you suck more fucking... You've seen more pricks than a second-hand dartboard. Yeah, fucking cuck. Right, okay. I'm now pissed off. And I think I've just made myself angry that Steve does that to everyone. I wish I could find my fucking gun. Anyway, as you know, Steve is totally closed minded, so there's no point in even trying to fucking dissuade his opinion. All we need to do now is just sort of look at Steve and laugh and treat him like the pathetic joke that he is. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. If you liked us, you know, comment, subscribe, yeah. Thanks, words and people. I appreciate it. Right, okay, actually. On a personal note. I do like to hear what you have to say about things. I do enjoy your comments, uh, especially when they're quite funny. Some comments I had have been completely mental and they've been great to read. Um, so please leave me a comment. Well, say something to me. It's, I always enjoy reading the comments. Let me know what you think about the setup, things are going, production, anything like that. My commentary. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. If you agree with me, let me know. You know, one of those things. I am quite approachable, and if you want to have a conversation with me, you can. It's just unfortunate that people like Steve and Danny Kortz and Peter Coffin and the Boston Antifa, their values can't stand up to scrutiny. They can't be challenged on their ideas, so they don't talk ever. To anyone. So, fuck them. If they won't talk, I'll assume. And when I make assumptions, I can get downright fucking inventive with my assumptions about things. My name is Alexander Kingsfall, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.